Hey, what's up everyone? This episode is gonna be a little different. It's the revealing of the waterfall in the butterfly gardens for the pollinators in Pine Island, New York. And we're here with the Warwick Valley Gardeners. Pollinators need water to be able to stay cool, have a drink, and also it helps in their reproduction. This waterfall gave the pollinator garden exactly what it needed. a little bit about the waterfall that we put in behind us here. It's an aquascape pondless waterfall, about 10 feet in length. Built this thing in about a day and a half, two days. I really love all the plantings that the garden club has put in this butterfly garden. Once everything matures, it is gonna sure look awesome. The Angelina sedum that's right here is gonna totally spread out and blanket this whole area and really fill it in. Today we're celebrating the addition of the water feature. This garden is such a wonderful oasis for so many butterflies and other pollinators. It's incredible. And it's also a wonderful oasis for so many members of our community who enjoy the sights and now the sounds of the garden. We were here about a week ago and a little girl was here and we heard her call out. She said, hey mom, come and see the new creek in the garden. <laughs> So that's, that's just going to be This is a Monarch Way Station. She's a national organization to try to get as many people to uh, help the pollinators to have one little oasis after the other. We should provide a water source. So we started out thinking, well, we could just put a little dish out, but then we'd have to scrub it out and come all the time. And then we'll do like a bird bath. Nah, that didn't seem... And it went on. And when Garden State Koi got involved, we thought we were going to get like this little three or four foot garden to be put in. Tim showed up and made this beautiful design, which was like three times larger than what we expected it to be. And all the awesome different angles and the zigs and zags, and it's just wonderful. The birds love it. We've already seen numerous types of wasps and bees drinking and puddling from it. It's just going to get better and better. One. I just want to introduce myself. I'm Tim from Garden State Koi. I've been over at Garden State Koi for over 20 years, and I am the head designer there. When we were asked to come out and do this project, I was really, really happy to be able to come out and beautify our hometown of Garden State Koi. We love doing stuff for the local community. We're really, really happy, and I hope everybody loves it. And if you we want do. to see, if anybody wants to see how we built this, it was myself and Felipe. Go over and check out our YouTube channel. There's a full video on how this all went together, documenting the whole thing, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So. It was great coming up here to Pine Island, New York, and seeing the reveal of the waterfall. I did not know they were going to have a ribbon cutting, and that was super cool. Remember, if you like to watch videos on our channel, hit that like button, press that subscribe button, and ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team here at Garden State Koi. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode.